Hello everybody and welcome to Connor Sports Talk. This is the second time I made this video because uh, I'm based off of uh, Louisiana. And most people know that because most people who watch my videos know me. But I usually make uh, my videos in the car and my phone overheated because it's really hot in Louisiana. So today we're going to be talking about the Saints and how I feel like they're doing uh, so far in the off season. So... Uh, what do I think of their draft picks? I really like their draft picks, at least the first two. So, uh, Marshawn Lattimore, really like that pick. That's the guy who I wanted us to pick up. And then, uh, most people didn't like Ryan Ramchick, but I really liked him. A lot of people wanted another cornerback or, uh, or a, uh, D end. But in my opinion, we didn't, we shouldn't have taken another cornerback because, there's a good chance that Malcolm Butler may sign with us uh, next season. Like there, he was a uh, he was up to being traded to the Saints. Like he already had the uh, contract filed out and everything, but he, the trade never happened. And then uh, if we would have drafted another, uh, I mean not another, a uh, a D end, it would have been a reach because in my opinion there are no uh, D ends worth the first round draft pick at the thirty uh, second draft pick in the first round so it would have been a reach and concerned that uh Torum Armstead is out for at least four to six months it looks like uh Ryan Ramchek is going to be our starting, starting left tackle so I think that turned out to be a pretty solid pickup and then uh you have Marcus Williams uh, free safety out of Utah I think it was I'm not the biggest fan of that concerned that we already have Von Bell and uh Kenny Vaccaro. I'm not the biggest fan of the uh, three safety sets. The reason why we had it uh, the past two years is because we didn't have linebacker death. Now this season we signed up a bunch of uh, mid-tier uh, linebackers. So I really don't like that pickup. I mean, he's a good talent, but we already have Von Bell and Kenny Vaccaro. So... I don't know, but I, like, I did like Alvin Kamara, or uh, I didn't like how we had to give up a, a second round draft pick for the upcoming draft pick, for the upcoming year, I mean, so uh, the 2017-18 draft, we were giving up our second round draft pick, <laughs> but I feel like Alvin Kamara can be a, a premier, I mean, not, not a premier, but like, our starting running back in uh, about two years, I feel like he can be a decent running back. Maybe get like a uh, Pro Bowl, one or two of those. But he definitely has a talent. So it was a good pickup, talent-wise at least. Let's look at uh, free, agency. free agency. So we got Alex Okafor. I feel like he's gonna be a, a solid role player. He had eight sacks in 2015. And then he was buried by death in 2016. That won't be a problem with it for the Saints. If he can uh, rekindle his talents from 2015 where he got eight sacks, that would be great for the Saints. I feel like him and uh, our draft pick from the third round. I'm trying to remember his name. Hold on a second. Uh... Uh, yeah, I can't see his name, but, uh, so we drafted a, a third round, we had three third round picks, and, uh, we drafted a DM with one of those, I, I can't remember his name, though, so he, those are gonna be the rotations for, uh, the, the opposite side of Cameron Jordan, but, uh, Continue with our defensive line. Nick Fairley's out for the rest of the year. And potentially forever. Because uh, he has a heart uh, issue. That apparently he always had. I guess it kind of got overlooked by the Saints. Detroit, he played for Detroit and the Rams before. And uh, at the time of the draft we knew about his heart issue. I wish him the best, like, I like the guy and everything, but we kind of, 
I don't know if it was the best move by the Saints to resign him for that much money, knowing that he has heart issues that can uh, take him out of the NFL. He was signed him for like a four-year contract for like six years. For I mean, like six million dollars per year. So financially, wasn't well, the best move for us. But he's a really good player, near Pro Bowl player. If it doesn't mean uh, affecting his life, I want him to play for the Saints. But put your life before football. It goes without saying. And then uh, on the opposite side of the line, meaning offensive line, we got uh, Larry uh, War Warfare, or I can't pronounce his. I don't know how to pronounce his name. But he's a uh, left guard. Or uh, he can, he's a combo guard, so he's going to be replacing uh, Tim Lolito and uh, Jari Evans. So uh, him and Andres Pete should be the starting t uh, guards. So I, I feel like that would be uh, fairly decent. Uh, our center's good. Uh, he was out. He, sh he should be back by... Uh, by the time that the season starts, so let's hope that happens. And like I said before, uh, Armstead is out for the rest of the year, so uh, Ryan uh, Ramchek should be playing left tackle, and then right tackle is Zach Streif, who's probably one of the most underrated players in the NFL right now. But uh, I don't know. So far, I feel like it's a good off season. Not really too much news, really. Uh, I can see us making the playoffs, maybe. But it all kind of depends on the defense. I feel like we can be a lot better. I'm not saying good. I'm predicting us to be like the 20th best defense. But that should be good enough for Drew Brees to bring us to the playoffs. But I think our uh, secondary is a lot better. I didn't, to start off, I never thought our secondary was bad. It's the linebacker play. If you look what happened to us, what, really, what we really messed up was getting attacked from the halfback position and the tight end. That's usually right in the middle. And linebackers cover the middle, obviously. I mean, it's also uh, strong safeties do too, but it's mostly linebacker play that messed us up. Or two starting cornerbacks got injured last season, which was Delvin Bro and uh, PJ Williams. Delvin Bro got injured against the Raiders. He came back, uh, I think, week, week 11, but he was never the same. And then uh, in week two, PJ Williams got injured against Tampa Bay, and he was out for the whole year. But with us said, the secondary is going to be a lot better with uh, Marcus Williams and Marshawn Lattimore. It all depends on the linebacker play, really, on how our defense fares. I think our defensive line is decent. We, I really like, uh, Nick, not Nick Fairley, but uh, the uh, rookie, what was his name? Uh, Sheldon Rankins. I feel like he's going to be a pro bowler. Hopefully, at least. But I feel like our, uh, the defense is uh, really underrated. But where I fall for that. The talent's there. There's always injuries, and it's a young defense. So they have to get better if they're healthy, which I'm hoping they are. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please like and subscribe, and please uh, share the video. Thank you.